what is the Kennedy's classification for this patient? Okay, so we have a maxillary partially edentulous arch and we have to determine the Kennedy's classification. So we have root pieces to be extracted. There is a crown that is indicated for endodontic therapy. Here this tooth, okay, and a PFM crown. So now rules, apple gauge rules, Kennedy's class 1 to 4, quick revision. Bilateral distal extension is class 1. Unilateral distal extension class 2. Tooth bound edentulous unilateral class 3. Crossing the midline bilateral class 4 okay this is Kennedy's classification now few things the sequence that you should remember first always 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 do the extractions the classification should be done after the extraction the classification must follow rather than precede any extraction otherwise it will change the original classification apple gate rule number one okay so here we have these root pieces to be extracted so this will be eliminated here this will be eliminated here okay second any pre prosthetic surgery pre prosthetic phase or fixed treatment then you go ahead for the crown on this one so this is present okay one one is present and it has a surveyed crown over it third Consider second and third molar related concerns. If this is a second molar, is it going to be used as an abutment? If yes, then you have to consider this in the classification. Since nothing is mentioned, we are going to consider this as present. Okay. Number four, this is rule number two, three, and four, Apple Gates rules. Then consider the posterior most edentulous area. Which is the posterior most 1, 2 and 3. So of 1, 2 and 3, 1 is the posterior most. Okay, extending posteriorly. So this is a unilateral edentulous area with no posterior missing tooth. So this is Kennedy's class 2. Alright. So this is rule number 5, posterior most. Fifth is other areas are designated as modification spaces. So we have two modification spaces. Modification spaces. How many we have? Two. So this is rule number six. They are designated by the extent, not by the number of teeth missing. So two modification spaces. Rule number seven. So this becomes a class two modification two. Let's have a look at the options. Class four, class three mod two, class two mod two and class one mod two. Correct answer is class two modification two. Class two modification one and modification 2.